Beth O'Reilly here with Awesome Blossoms from Mayesh. It's the month of March, and we have some of the most exquisite blossoms on the market for you today. I want to showcase some of those things for you. Uh, the lush greenery, Mayesh does a custom garland. Now these can be called out. You can call out your greens. Uh, this one happens to have some silver dollar eucalyptus, some bay laurel, and uh, some olive branch. So the olive branch is really great because you can actually call out, it comes in short, medium, and tall. I've got some tall here behind me. You can see it's just about the size of me. Uh, really great product just to add that organic flair to your arrangements. Also, I love the bay laurel. Smells great, uh, very fragrant, and something, again, wonderful for this lush design that we're seeing so much of. Now, we all were in anticipation of Marsala's Pantone Color of the Year, and so we're all thinking, what flowers work with that? And greenery is something that you can also bring into that Marsala Pantone, and this Agonis is perfect for that palette. Something that's not necessarily greenery, but will give you that wonderful texture uh, for these open, airy designs is Spirea. Um, this also is very tall, very lush, a wonderful way to add movement to your designs. Not necessarily a greenery, but whether or not it's blooming or not, it has a dancing effect in your designs. Really wonderful to work with. So everybody loves lilac. Lilac is one of those, I remember it as a child because we had a lilac bush where I grew up in Ohio. And I would go out and cut the lilac and take it in to my mom at breakfast in bed. And it's just one of those flowers that uh, really has a sensory uh, reaction for a lot of people. And when it comes to lilac, one of the things a lot of people don't know is that it's a, it's a very carefully cultivated shrub. And the, the, the bush will actually be given a whole year to rest before it's expected to produce again. And the way that we get these wonderful long stems is because of the way they prune these bushes and, and um, keep them producing. And a lilac shrub can actually produce for up to 100 years. That's pretty amazing. Jasmine vine is another florist favorite. I love the vine either with blooms or without, and sometimes it's hard in its growing season to actually gauge exactly when it's going to be blooming or not. We have some wonderful, wonderful blooming jasmine vine. We also have uh, some that's a little bit more of a naked vine. And, you know, depending on your design that you're working on, you may want to have either or. Now, the Japanese are really doing some amazing things with flowers, and I know a lot of us are excited about the Japanese product, but we might not know all that much about it. The ranunculus that is coming out of Japan right now is just amazing. This is a more of a ruffled variety uh, with, a, with a touch of a green center. And then these amazing, just gorgeous, beautiful, luscious and big heads on these ranunculus. This time of year, clematis is in bloom. It's a really special growing season um, for the clematis vine. And it's just one of those flowers that when it's in season, I know that I just get really excited. It's, a, it's actually a U.S. grown crop, and um, it's really long lasting as well. So I know that it looks really delicate, but this bloom can last up to three weeks if it's cared for properly. It's supplied in 20 different varieties. There's bicolors and singles and doubles, and the vines are actually tacked to a 42 inch pole daily to give our customers these nice long stems uh, for their designs. And then, as we move over here, the fritillaria, a lot of people might not be familiar with this, but sometimes these smaller flowers get forgotten and they're really just a wonderful addition, especially when we're trying to create this very woodsy, very organic um, mix of flowers. Fritillaria is actually a bulb plant and it is available right now in the month of March. Another one of those Sometimes I think forgotten flowers that really has a gardeny feel is the Artemisia. And that's this flower right here. The Artemisia is great for kind of speckling into your designs, giving it texture, giving a wonderful movement. Another Japanese product that I'm super excited about is the Lysianthus. I don't know if you guys have seen the Lysianthus where there's just a lot of little unopened buds at the end. The Japanese Lysianthus is really care, I mean they're passionate about growing their flowers over there. So every single blossom is usable. There won't be any waste on this. If you can see the petal count, how big the heads are, all of this Japanese product is coming in just luscious, big. It's worth spending a little bit of extra for your clients to give them just 
something that they really haven't ever experienced before. I think the Lysianthus is tops on the list. You can also see the colors, the colors that they're coming up with. This muted, this is a chocolate Lysianthus. Perfect for pairing with the Marsala Pantone palette. Um, all of the purples and this very kind of antique dusty rose color. Really a gorgeous statement with the Japanese product. If you're having mixed feelings about Marsala, the Pantone color of the year, and using it in your spring designs, this is a great way to pair it with all of these antique tones, bringing in a little bit of spring, and making for a very exciting color palette.